I have no idea if any of this stuff that I'm attempting in this fan is going to turn out because I am not handy. I am not crafty. I can't sew. You're probably wondering, well, what can this gal do? <laughs> I can hike. I can backpack. I can build a fire. I can read a topo map. If you get lost in the bush, I'm your girl. <laughs> Hello fellow adventure seekers, rootless wanderer here. So today I am parked at the trailhead so that I can work on my privacy curtain. Now I went to Home Depot and picked up this metal rod. I watched a video, um, the channel name is SUV RVing and Tristan did a van tour of a woman. I will put the title and channel name on the screen for you, right there, okay. Now, in that van tour, it shows the privacy curtain, how she used a flat bar and bent it to the shape and the contours of the ceiling. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. So come on, let's go. Let's see if it works out. <laughs> okay, guys. So the materials I will be using today to make the privacy curtains are two blackout curtain panels, iron-on hemming strips, a flat metal bar, an iron, and a pair of scissors. This is that metal rod I was telling you about. So I kind of measured it out and I managed to get it cut. Now, I used these um, cutters, I don't know. Um, I couldn't cut through the metal, but what I did was I scored both sides with the cutters and then just kind of bent it back and forth and it finally it finally snapped off so what i'm going to do now is tuck it in the sides here and work on molding it it is pretty stiff so um and, and it does bend but I'm going to have to work at it a little bit to get it exactly the way I want. So, and I need both hands. So I'm going to put down the camera and get started on that. As you can see, I have the bar in place and I am just working on pressing it against the contours. Now I have to start working on bending to conform the shape. Of the ceiling. The other side I worked on a bit but um, I'm not gonna tuck it in up there until I have this side bent perfectly so that um, I can work on the ends. I think I will bend it down a bit so it'll act like a hook and maybe even stay in there better. And there it's tucked under the DVD player. Oh my God, you guys, this is so hard. <laughs> Just my hand is not, it's not cutting it. Not getting that close curve that I'm wanting to see. After I'm finished doing the contours, what I will do next is put both of the blackout curtains on the rod so that I can measure where the um, pool at the bottom and then I will cut them and use some hemming strips that I got from Ikea and hopefully that will hold because I can't sew. <laughs> it's holding. Now I just need to bend it a bit more and tuck it under that DVD player and hopefully it'll stay. As you can see on the bottom There's excess. So what I'm going to do is kind of fold it back 
use safety pins to tack it where it is. Then I'll take the curtains off and I can hem the bottom. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> okay guys, so I've got the curtain pinned now where I want it to be. I left a little bit of room for hemming. And if you know um, the inside of a minivan, it, you know, the roof is dome shaped like most vehicles. So you're not gonna be cutting your curtain straight across. It's gonna be on a bit of an angle. The curtain in the middle is going to be shorter than the portion along the ends especially if you want to be able to tuck it and like clip it onto a cup holder or onto the handle or something. So it's gonna be a bit of an angle, but it should work. So the curtains I'm using are just some blackout curtains that I picked up from Walmart. They are insulated. Um, and I like that the inside is a beige color and not black because it is such a small space in here and I don't want it to feel so closed in. And then on the outside is the black so that someone looking in the van at nighttime would not see me. So now I have cut the curtain. The next step is to iron on this hemming strip that I got from Ikea. So hopefully this will work and I won't have to sew. I do have like this little weenie, you know, sewing kit for the van in case, but I have such a hard time, guys, threading a needle. The dexterity in my hands is like completely gone. Okay, so now, as you can see, I have the hemming strip. There it is. Underneath a fold in the curtain and along the edge, I've pinned everything together so that the hemming strip and the curtain will stay in place while ironing. Now I'm gonna go take this to the ironing board and hopefully it will stick. fabric is fraying there a little. So what I might do is just flip this over and iron on another strip. You will have a nice clean edge. All right, there you have it. I used a double layer of the iron-on hemming strip to give that finished look and it worked perfectly. It's holding. Okay, so now that I have both curtains hemmed, I'm going to take these out to the van and see how they fit. You can see along the top here, I've got most of the gaps filled in. See here. Um, now, as long as I don't have lights on in here when I'm trying to be stealthy at nighttime, these will work perfectly. I have some binder clips to clip these together, as well as clips to go around the handle, which will keep it pulled to the side. And as you can see, it fits. You can see what I've done is tucked the bar with the curtain on it underneath the DVD player here. It's just kind of tucked in there and it's holding so far. Okay guys, there you have it. My privacy curtain is finished.